Oh, the wolf was full, so he climbed back into ground and spread a cloud less to sleep. He then he began to snore. <laughs> he snored a lot and louder. A friendly hunter walking by the house heard the noise and stopped. What's the sound? It's very loud. If I will stop, see in if panic. Okay. The hunter now. <clears throat> but no one answered. He opened the door and went in. He heard someone snoring in Granny's bedroom. <laughs> so he picked the bedroom and saw the big battle for Granny's bed. What? It gets us old. Is Granny's bed. I think he go for help. In granny. The hunter cut a hole in off stomach. To his great surprise, I popped a little red riding hood. The wolf didn't even wake up. He just thought he was having a very bad dream. Good day. Good heaven. Good heaven. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Lyra Riding Hood. But, but where are you, Granny? Here I am. And I'll climb the Granny, tired but happy. Oh, oh my, my, what, what a, a day! Quick, quick, let's put some stones inside the oak. <coughs> they will make him happy. So he can't get up. Good idea. Great idea. And they filled the old stomach with heavy stones. Okay. He was dreaming a dream about girls and grannies, and when he <coughs> woke up, he had such a terrible stomach, he fell right down and died. He died? He died? Is he dead? Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, he's dead. He's dead. The wolf is dead. The big bad wolf is dead. Hurry! Hooray! Hooray! He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. The wolf is dead. The big bad wolf is dead. Hooray! And this is the end of the story of the girl who listened to her mother most of the time. The girl, the little girl, she listened to her mother most of the time.